was talking to this pastor and this pastor was like, y'all young people's finding out the secret. And I asked him, what secret is he talking about? He said, yes, America is Egypt. He was like, that's what the Seminole War was about. The Louisiana Purchase was about. And he was like, look up this map. It's called Tamari. Oh, and he said, y'all is Tamari Kings. So I went to look up at the map, right? And I was amazed he was right. He was like, that's y'all true nationality. And he was like, when the Seminole War broke out, that's when they won and they took over America and started calling them Americans and they spelt it different. And the Bible is based upon y'all. All pastors know this, Freemasonry know this, everybody know this. Pyramid on the Nile in Northeast Africa doesn't have stair steps going up it. It doesn't have temples on top of its summit. They could not go and break through the boat on the temples atop those great pyramids. There are none there. And that was the clue that Egypt was writing about the Americans. And the deeper I got into the records, the clearer it got. They started actually saying, and because I'm in love that land so much, he said it's his beloved land, and that word was Mary, the beloved, Mary, M-E-R-I, Mary. And the land, of course, last before is Ta, the beloved land, Ta Mary. And they kept that name and just put the Ta on the end of it, so Ta Mary became a Mary Ta, we simply say, a Mary Ka. We kept the name that Egypt gave to the Americans. So that was the big mystery behind that $10 million map that Martin Waltzmuller made and then put the name America on it in 1507. And then those who knew and those who were trying to hide things said, wait a minute, you can't put that name on here. And the next time he reprinted that map, it was off. It was gone. Because that's the name that Egypt had given the land. Now you know your nationality.